have totally uh, four grinding stones. These two stones are each 3,000 kilos, made of granite, and that's coming from uh, Belgium. And wait. Something about the mill, not enough wind to uh, use a grinding system. And for catching the wind, we have four sails on the wings on the outside. And I stop the windmill when we have a storm that's wind fast nine on a wind. <laughs> In a heavy wheat cheese factory, we produce the gouda traditional like this with the cow milk. But when you come in the shop, you taste a lot of the flavors, for example, with the goat's milk or sheep milk, into the milk. And after a last half hour, we are starting with the cutting with the three special oats. This week, you can see it's almost 19% of the milk. You don't choose this. Then, where this made once, and how many fat in the milk? The fat percent in the milk, 14. Oh, Good afternoon. Welcome here to the Oldsworth Workshop. Um, first of all, I've got a rotating example. Three knives spread out the exact same shape. Again, we will make an exact copy of the model which is already here. Those can have a weight pressure of 750 kilos. It's about the weight of a small car. Just, uh, there's a traffic light we are waiting for.
steal or obtain as much coal as, as, as they wanted. And uh, of course, this affects in the long run. Willem, at the end of the 17th century, who amassed a huge collection of art, but then his successors decided to move the royal court from, uh, from here, first to uh, um, they decided not to stick to the to the classical art anymore, but they decided to give a new profile to it. It's a bit twisted. Uh, there are quite a few versions as to what happened there. One says that there was a fire that, that did that to the roof, somebody says. Or maybe it's, uh, we can also call it the big ice cream. You know, you have these, have these twisted ice creams as well, so maybe that's the, the reason for that. That St. Lambert's Church, also of a town, and uh, the castle itself extended all the way away from the, uh, the river. But it burned down somewhere in the, I think, at the end of the 18th century feet because you need to provide ventilation, you need to provide lights. So it was also a table or a restaurant or a bar or a bar or a restaurant. So, uh, so it's indeed an, an amazing uh, a place. It has a very, you know, it has a lot of energy. It's a, a direction as well. And if you look past the tower, sort of in between the parliament and the tower, yes. and it's an interesting structure because they have a building which is completely covered in glass. You take out the, the big boats, and you can still see some of the old cranes there to keep up the atmosphere, but they invited world famous architects to build buildings over here. The most famous ones are these three on the left hand side, the white building, there you see the metal building and the red building here on the left hand side. This is, these are the Franco Gehry buildings. Canadian born American architect. This is the old customs house. So he um, has a very colorful ethnic scene as well because we have one of Europe's largest Japanese population here and we also have a, uh, a large Jewish population in, um, in Dusseldorf. Yeah, so. And this is why, especially after World War I, when Germany lost World War I, little of these patents that, or little licenses got lost because they were... Pharmaceutical. 